Well, you guys, the Jaguars decided to play 17 straight games where they played like a total disgrace of a franchise, couldn't play football in any form of competent way whatsoever outside of slightly for two weeks. Today, however, they decided on this 18th week of the NFL season that they would play like an all-around, all-over, good, competent, solid football team. Today, the Jaguars were home against the Colts. They handled their business 26 to 11. Best game of the year, obviously, by far. Not just for the win for today. You also knocked the Colts out of the playoffs, which is just sweet. Also, Detroit Lions, even though you beat Jordan Love, thank you because the Jaguars not only won in big fashion, knocked out a division rival from the playoffs, we still get the first overall pick. So life is good for once, for, and I literally mean for once, to be a Jaguar fan. It's good, it's a good feeling. It'll carry me throughout this week. And then, uh, actually it'll carry me through tonight. And then probably tomorrow morning when I wake up to the news that uh, Jaguars owner Shad Khan is standing firm and is going to retain general manager Trent Baalke. Uh, that'll probably ruin my mood again. Um, but hey, for now, Jaguars are winners. We finished this horrific season, 3-14. and 14. Um, Urban Meyer was a complete failure. This team, this organization... <clears throat> excuse me, was a complete failure this season. But today, none of that matters because we got the win. We got the first overall pick. Kayvon Thibodeau, uh, Aiden Hutchinson, Evan Neal, whoever it is, is coming to the Jaguars. Whichever, whether it be, God forbid, Trent Baalke or hopefully someone with a brain in their head who takes his place Whoever's making that pick, whatever, whoever they want, because I don't really think there's any real consensus top player in this draft, but that guy will have their pick, and the Jaguars have that privilege this year, and it sucks that we have it back-to-back -back years, but we still got it. We got the dub today. I'm happy. Now, the only thing that can make this day better, and if it happens tonight, I will make a video tonight at the very latest tomorrow morning. The only way that this day could get any better when it comes to the Jaguars is if Trent Baalke gets fired. So, Shad Khan, my friend, do the right thing for this organization. Put us in an upward trajectory and fire Trent Baalke. And by the way, before I close out this video, sorry, my ears itching. Before I close out this video, I would just like to ask one question. Trevor Haters, where you at? Where you at? Can't find you. Where you at? My man played the game of his young career today. Should have had three touchdowns. Should have been literally perfect in the first half. He had four incompletions and four drops. Okay, like he was just... Trevor was outstanding today. And we can only hope that that's the trajectory he takes in the next year. Because if that's the case, we get a competent head coach in here, a competent GM, a good draft, good free agency period with $71 million. What should have happened this year could take place next year. So at least we have that. Fire Trent Balky. Like, subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel, if you're a Jacksonville Jaguar fan, or if you hate the filthy, rotten, stinking unfortunately number one seed Tennessee Titans if you hate them with everything you got hit subscribe to this channel hit like if you're excited about the win today hit like the fire Trent Balky all that other stuff that YouTubers are supposed to say to promote their content go Jags screw the Titans fire Balky